What? Sim ants. Sim ants. You get a you get to play as an ant and eventually a colony of ants. There was this game that I had a demo for. It was like is it, it was an RT. It's a lot like StarCraft, but it had like, uh, like bugs. So like one was like the ant colony, one was the wasp colony, and they had different things for them. That was great. I wish I'd have found that full game and played it. Could never find it, but I played the demo until I lost the actual game. I actually really hope another RTS comes into the market because Command and Conquer is basically done for. They're not even announcing making another one. I don't think. I don't even think they're even thinking about making another one. Uh, Red Alert, they're done with, which is an expansion off of Command and Conquer. Um, uh, they want to make another Halo Wars, but I think they said they want to make five before they even think about uh, looking into <laughs> another Halo Wars. Why and would they make a, another Halo Wars? It was extremely Halo successful. Halo Wars needs to go on PC, though. Like The fact that they never put it on PC is ridiculous. To be yeah. completely honest, for an RTS on the console, it was the most successful RTS on a console uh, ever released. And on top of that, it wasn't it the best. Actually, it was the best. It no. was the easiest to use. The controls no. made sense for it. It was the only one where you could actually use the controls in that game. Army Men RTS single... was fantastic, and that was on the PlayStation 2. Fantastic RTS. Just because you didn't play it doesn't mean it wasn't good. No, that was a good no, I'm game. Not saying, I'm not saying it wasn't good. I'm saying that the controls make RTSs. If the controls are uncomfortable, it makes it really hard to play oh, an yes, RTS. Oh, yes, the controls for the console, or for the Xbox 360 of Halo Wars, were good. But the only reason that Halo Wars was as big as it was is because of that name because Halo. That, sure. <laughs> That name Halo. really helped it a lot, but I mean, it got a lot of criticism, and there were a lot of people that did not like that series. But the thing is, there's enough people that were intrigued by it and liked the idea of it and liked the feel of the game that they wanted it to be its own independent series. They were fine with it being a part of the Halo universe, but they liked it as its independent series because that's what it is at heart. I wish we'd have played more of that. Yeah. We were too pro back then. <laughs> um, I, play, I played it. Uh, every now and then, but you know who actually really played it a lot in my family? My mom. My mom actually played the shit out of Halo Wars. Interesting. Yeah, she got really good too. I think she got to like level 45, which was hard in Halo Wars. Yeah. That's a brigadier. Yeah. Dang. I mean, there wasn't very many 50s in Halo Wars. I think you had to have upwards of a 90% win record in order to even have, think about achieving a level 50. Yeah, if I recall, it was pretty ridiculous to get any kind of ranking on that game. Mm-hmm. Which I think is kind of cool. I, li I, like, I like it when your ratings are, are kind of an achievement to get. Like, remember towards the end of Halo 3, everyone had a 50 at one point and at least something... That's not fun. That's not exciting. You want to be a part of a small community to say that you are one of the best. You don't want to think that it's something anyone can achieve if they get the right team together. Yeah. So. Did you know Flo was almost a 50 in Halo 3? Really? Yeah. SWAT. Well, SWAT was a completely different place altogether. Dude, SWAT. I love SWAT. Believe it or not, he was almost a 50, and the only reason he didn't do it is because Cheese, who was playing with him, suddenly started playing bad and couldn't explain why. No, Cheese later messaged me saying he didn't want Flo to get a 50 before him. You weren't with me with my first 50, were you? No. No. I'll tell you the story of my first 50 in Halo 3. Basically, I didn't really care about getting my 50 for a while at that point. Um, and this is when I wasn't talking to you, Phoenix, and... Uh, and what had happened was I was playing with these two two other uh, friends that I had met, and I just wanted to try and help them get to the Brigadier. So I was playing again uh, with them, and we were getting matched with all 50s, and it was really sucked because I, I it was there was a couple games I could carry and win, and there was other games where it was just devastating, spawn, killed, all that crap. And uh, the game that I got it, it was literally they were 49. And the score that we had was 45. They needed one kill. I needed to get five more kills. And it was on Guardian. Oh. And I had them running 
their butts off. Every time they see someone, they had to go the other direction. If you're, and But the thing is, is I said, make sure you throw a grenade at your feet when you run. You run in the other direction after you throw a grenade, but it's immediate reaction. As soon as you see them, you run, throw a grenade and you run away. That's a brilliant <laughs> idea, actually. Um, and, uh, and so they kept on doing that. And basically what I was doing is I was just getting pot shots off of them. I wasn't able to really take any of them out, but I was able to get them weaker and weaker every time that I hit them, right? And yeah. I would just peek around corners to hit them, hit them twice, run away, hit them twice, run, run away. And uh, I got really lucky where I was able to get down to the lift, got the sniper rifle, got an immediate triple kill, and then I threw a random sticky grenade, stuck one, and the other guy jumped up the lift with him, and it blew them both up. It was an amazing game. I was so happy. And I didn't think I was going to get my 50 then, but because, it, remember, it used to lag when it would rank you up or rank you down. Sometimes you would have to play another game for it yeah. to actually show it. That freaking It took, like, 30, 30 to 40 seconds for it finally to say, here's your 50. Sweet. <laughs> It was nerve-wracking. Did I ever tell you the push we tried to do for break shot before he got his? When no. he was like a 49 and couldn't do anything? Oh, really? Oh, it was fantastic. Huh. It was one of the most fun series of games I ever played. It was like me, Bullet, of course. Mm-hmm. Do we call him Bullet or Mortal Enemy? What do you think? I think you called him Mortal Enemy, and it took me longer to switch to calling him Mortal Enemy. I called him Bullet more often. I think... I I think we'll keep him as Bullet. Good old Bullet to the face. It was him. I think like Barricade. No, it wasn't Barricade. Barricade wasn't that good. Trig, Barricade, maybe? The thing with Barricade was is he was good up. He was unbelievably good. Completely outskilled and outclassed everyone that was beneath him. But as soon as someone was of equal skill of him, he just choked. Yeah, it wasn't Barricade then. On the point. I don't remember who the fourth guy was, but it was me, Breakshot, and Bullet. And... And I was, you know me, I'm like a 41, 42, because I'd never cared about my ranking at all. Mm-hmm. And I'm in there with, like, you know, the 250s and then break shot at 40, 49, and so we're all, you know, playing 50s all the time. Mm-hmm. I swear, I never went negative. I did, like, positive two or better. We were in some intense dog fights. We won most of those games. Break shot still couldn't do it. He's at the bottom of the pack. Mm-hmm. Probably the only reason he did not get his 50 that day is because the 42, that was me, outscored him. And so I adjust, I, I, I guarantee the it. I guarantee it. If he was not on the bottom of the list for one of those games, he would have had it. Yeah, but I was playing lights out. Bullet was, you know, himself and whoever the fourth guy was was good. It was a lot of fun. Because it's the same thing with StarCraft. I can be 20 games above my wins over my losses and it won't put me into the next league or the next tier of play it has to the game actually has to think i'm ready for it based on uh my money spending average and how far what my score is by the end of the game and a few other things i think it takes other things into account other than just wins and losses about promoting into new league that's one of the best things about the bungee system is they actually like they showed you here's the math on ranking up Mm-hmm. It was some good math. I liked it. Yeah, it was, no, it was pretty. Today. Blizzard won't release it, but whatever it is, we think it's pretty accurate. Unfortunately, we wish there was a couple more tiers in terms of uh, skill because it's that drastic of what the difference is between. So once you get to the highest tier, it's called Masters League. I mean, there's Grand Masters, but that's a Premier League. Um, but once you hit Grand Masters League, which is the top league. Um, the difference between low masters and high masters was so vastly or is so vastly different that it is impossible to compare the two. Yeah. And so that's why we want a couple more leagues but we doubt it's going to happen unless we get a player base like League of Legends. Yeah. Which for the record we need to do something with that. I've been I've watched a couple games of that. I love that game. I wish I was still competitive because I'd be playing that. It is a very intriguing game, and to be honest, I just don't have the time for it. I mean, StarCraft is already pretty much my time sink when it tom- comes to playing video games when I want to play. Um, but I'm actually waiting for the Blizzard variant of a MOBA game to come that out. That would be which, interesting. 
they are releasing or they're making right now. You can sign up for beta, and it's called Heroes of the Storm. Oh Lord, Blizzard's coming to kill League of Legends. <laughs> And basically, it takes all their universes. It takes Diablo, it takes World of Warcraft, and it takes StarCraft, and meshes them all together in a MOBA. Hmm. Although, for the record, I think that the League of Legends characters are fantastic. I think it is too. A lot. And some of their earlier characters were definite ripoffs off of the original Dota, the Warcraft Three custom game. And it uh, it was very apparent. In fact, I actually think the creator of Dota sued Han because it was di- uh, some of their characters were direct ports from Dota. Um, so I mean, there was a big problem during the hmm. during the start of MOBAs, where the Dota creator and even Blizzard was trying to back the Dota creator into saying, "Hey, what are you guys doing?" <laughs> Um, but once that came out, basically they had made so much money by then they could hire some decent, uh, um, um, what's the word, um, that I'm looking for, decent enough designers as well as, uh, balanced designers to, uh, to, uh, come with some pretty, uh, interesting ideas that I seem to work. Um, a lot of characters in League of Legends seem to re- be repeating themselves, but they're so they're <laughs> slightly different enough where it doesn't really matter. We've gotten off track. Just a little bit, quite a bit off track. If you're a League of Legends group with like no affiliation or want to make money, but you'd like some attention, I'd love to have you on our pro on the the pro gaming channel. Just saying. But anyway, let's get back to topics. Um, PlayStation now got announced. The PlayStation Now got announced? What's that? I'm sorry, I've not... Do you remember the early... The backward compatibility thing with Gaikai, where you could stream games from previous systems? Yes. They've announced it will come out this summer. Beta's opening at the end of this month. I'm signed up. Hopefully I get in. If we are, I won't give you any footage, but I will tell you whether or not it's awesome. And it's... The price stuff hasn't been announced yet, but I'm intrigued. The people that get into the beta and are able to be some of the early streamers associated with that are going to get big. That's my, I'm calling that out. About 10 to 15 of them are going to be the core 10 to 15, about three or four years down the line when it's got it, has its full release and has a huge community. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm signed up for the closed beta, but it's a closed beta. But... What it, well, that's what I'm saying. The people that get involved with the closed beta or the open beta typically become some of the key members towards the open release. Sounds cool to me. But yeah, the streaming stuff sounds cool. Like, you could play PlayStation 3 games on your Vita. Yeah, no, I'm pretty excited for that. Oh, that's what you mean by, by uh, never mind, different streaming. I'm still tired. <laughs> it's noon, why are you tired? Uh, I need to sleep. What, have you not slept? It's already... Well, it's 10 o'clock where you are, but... Yes, I have been up for over a day. Thank you. That's not healthy. No. I'm intrigued by it. I'd like to play some games from the PlayStation 3 that I didn't get to play. I couldn't tell you what offhand because I played most of them. But it'd be nice. Anyways, uh, I think uh, this podcast um, has pretty much entered a dead point. So uh, I would like to end the podcast and thank you guys for watching. Um, and uh, Phoenix, uh, of course, Phoenix is here. Sorry, I'm still tired. I'm Vita Letum and Big Tony. Big which, Tony. Yep. All right. Talk to you guys later.